Hey guys, this is Michael Britt. I'm here to talk about my new HX Stomp preset pack. I've had a lot of people requesting it, so I'm going to just give you some audio demos of it and uh, let you hear what some, some of the presets sound like. So, here you go. <laughs> It's uh, basically a deluxe with, you know, stomps on it. But And uh, a lot of these will have um, snapshots in them that will turn off and on delays and things like that. Um, and also, I'm just running the audio outs of the HX stomp into a little DI. And then that's going into my uh, Apollo 8 uh, interface and going straight into Pro Tools. So no tweaking on Pro Tools, no EQ, nothing like that. So this is straight out of the stomp. And this next one is the blackface with the tube screamer stomp. That's that one. And then I've got just a basic clean. This is, uh, I think, the Lone Star model. For instance, I'll turn on the delay just so you can hear a little bit of that. You can also turn on one of the stomp overdrives. So that's all within that one preset, just adding the delay and the, and the stomp to it. This next one is a, another crunch. This is a long star with the uh, I believe it's the Minotaur. And so far these have all been ones with stock cabs, but some of these presets do have um, some IRs that I've made just for these. Um, this next one. This is an AC30, uh, kind of a mild overdrive. This is using an IR, so. Some of these are also, I call them pedal boards, so there's a PB at the end. And they're basically not a lot of effects. All of this is just like a, a, the amp model, an IR, and maybe delay and reverb, just because that usually comes after the amp. So these are kind of made to go at the end of a pedal board. You've already got a pedal board, and you just want to be able to go direct. You can throw these at the end. So it's just this is a blend of a couple of amps. Very basic, very dry, but uh, going into a, a console with your pedal board in front should sound really good. There's that. There's a couple of those in here, different ones. That was a twin and AC30. This is a divided by 13. The match just got a little bit more dirt. That's that. And then next we've got uh, one of my favorites. It's a matchless uh, C30 crunch. I do throw a couple of um, different ones in here. That this is a I call it chorus splash, and it's kind of just a really wet kind of sound. So I, I was kind of going for that '80s kind of Wang Chung kind of. It's also good for swelling into stuff. And you can even go more extreme with the effects than I do, but I thought it was kind of fun to play with. And here's just a basic crunchy sound. This is with an IR, and this is the Lone Star amp. Yeah. 
I could probably use this one for 90% of our show, you know, until we get to solos or something, something like that. Another one of my favorites is this uh, Fawn AC. <laughs> This has a little bit more effects. This has got the tri-chorus model. This is another one of the pedal board ones. This is a this is one I designed so you can switch between them. So this has a Mesa Lone Star for cleanish and a Plexi for dirt. And I've got it set up uh, one of the pedals on the stomp itself, I can just uh, act and switch amps. So if you do want it at the end of a pedal board, but you want to be able to switch two different amps, you can. All right, this is the dirty. Hit the button and go to clean. You can tailor the EQ to, to your liking, but that's just kind of a cool thing to be able to just kind of like a channel switching app, but it's two different amp models. All right, what else do we have? Matchless Clean. And then the same amp model, but now it's solo kind of tone. these what I did is I set up the stomp so I can actually get more gain just by hitting another button so it goes from two. and that's basically adding one of the boost comps which kind of thickens it up gives you more sustain in it and a little bit more gas so this is something I came up with just kind of goofing off but uh I thought it'd be fun, maybe uh, sitting in a track somewhere. This is the uh, just a plexi with a Timmy. Now this is be kind of what I would use in real life anyway. I've got a 72 Marshall, not exactly a plexi, but I just love the sound of those two things together. So I made a couple of presets with that. This is a different one, slightly different tone, another plexi. Now some of these are thicker in the mid, some are thinner, some are bassier. I just did that so, yeah, I never know which one's going to work in the environment on stage, so, or what, depending on what cab I'm running through. So I kind of just put a little bit of a rack in here. Um, Another one is cool, it's called Sweep Echo, and it, this is more if you're kind of picking arpeggios or something like that. But what you're actually hearing is...
you can play with it a couple different ways. It's kind of fun. Um, this is another, this is actually using a stock cab, and this is one of my boxes, kind of a Tom Petty sound. <laughs> tones in here are just your basic, you know, cleans, dirty, and solo tones. Uh, since you're limited to six effects blocks, it's kind of hard to do a whole lot of, you know, wild crazy effects on unless you just sacrifice other things. But I tried just to make, make this very usable so you can just plug it in um, and go. So these are have your basic kind of meat and potatoes tones. Um, just one more that's kind of, well, there's a couple more that's kind of cool. This is the Plexi Vibe, which I always like this. The vibe, vibe sound, you vibe. <laughs> Check Stomp Preset Pack by him, Brett Wells, and uh, just let me know what you think. Uh, hopefully, you'll find something cool in it. Thanks.